Hello, today I'm going to show how some parts of the Ice Cube Pinball game were made and why they were made in that way. If you don't know, Ice Cube Pinball is my first game published to Play Store and you can look a video about it uh, at this card. Okay, at this video we will speak about the flippers and the bumpers. At the beginning the flippers were just rectangles moving 45 degrees. But it resulted in a problem because sometimes the instantaneous moving was bigger than the ball distance to it and because of that the flippers passes the ball without hitting it. And so, after some different approaches, I have reached the actual solution. That's probably not the best, but seems to work pretty well. So, when the right action button is pressed, if the flipper rotation degree is less than 30, the rotation degree is increased by 500 multiplied by delta. With this increasing approach, the flipper is moving slowly and the delta ensures that the flipper will move at the same speed in different platforms. So, when the action button is not pressed anymore, the rotation is decreased slowly again to the point of minus 20 degrees. And now let's see the bumper. Here we have a collision shape that's smaller than the bumper to give the fact that the ball can go behind the bumper. There are two sprites to make a nicer blinking effect. Because the sprite in front is partially transparent and just the sprite that's behind has the color changed. And here we have the text effect for the points an audio stream for the sound and two points to get these positions. Everything is inside a rigid body and we use just this one signal when the player enters the body. Now let's see some parts of the code. So this is the logic to bump the cube. And this is the bump effect. First the bump audio sound is played, then the bump color is defined by the actual bump level. Here the bumper is, in, is decreased a bit to give a bump effect. Then the, this function is called to wait for a given time. And after that the color is fixed again to the normal color. The bumper is increased again to the normal size and the points are recorded. And to finish, just this logic to show the, the label with the points. So guys, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please consider subscribe and give a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.